New, new content. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Here we go again. Earlier, chat was saying something you about a bucket. Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley I, Parable. I feel and about like how I, roundly disappointed I have not this encountered a bucket. Version has turned out to be the original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further, what? which is why I am very proud to what? announce for the first time ever. The Stanley Parable 2. Oh no. Oh, this yes, is. You see, isn't this far superior to a measly re release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built wow. from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Investor showcase for the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> Calling it the Stanley Parable okay. 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation mm -hmm. and long-term franchising potential. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Right, right. New features. I wanted to get on the bus. Son of a bitch. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Is it going to be jumping? Reassurance bucket. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only oh. says the name Jim. <laughs> but of course, in the final game, this button will say your name. Oh. Your name is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. No. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. No. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. Oh, okay. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. Okay. Sleeping and waking as Jim. Where's the skip button? Being heartbroken as Jim. <laughs> Seizing Where's all the, the world's the possibilities button? as Jim. And as Jim. Jim. Whoa, 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 hold on. I wasn't finished setting up the backstory. If you don't properly roleplay as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Otherwise, it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish first. 
<clears throat> now, allow yourself to become Jim. Imagine yourself. Jim. All right, fine, whatever. It's just a meaningless <laughs> button that says Jim. Are you happy now? Get yeah. out of here. I'm done with this button. Why don't you go humiliate me in front of a different feature that I worked very hard on? Jim. See, if you'd only played a moment, <laughs> that would have been your name, the button says. But no. Instead, oh, I Jim. can't even think about Jim. it. I'm taking the Jim, Jim button Jim. away. Jim. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he took it away. <laughs> he took away the gym button. <laughs> Maybe I'll only let people named Jim play the Stanley Parable too. <laughs> they would appreciate what I've created here. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to the... Okay. The reassurance with office decorations in the reassurance bucket. Um, what is this one? Please, no screenshots. Oh. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, mm -hmm. like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? Um, go with opening the fucking door. Oh, I see. Step knees. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be loud. Oh, wait a minute. That's 12th birthday. Okay, let's don't. Never mind. I regret every insinuation. You know what? Let's just move away from that. Let's. You yeah. know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, step niece, it is. Oh, God. I apologize. I saw the the step, and and I ooed at it, and and I'm making it worse by talking about it. Let's let's just forget that room exists. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with no, no. Merch. I've made my decision. We're moving on. Merch. Okay. And then I guess the reassurance bucket is in here. What is this? Jump circle. Infinite hole? Where's the reassurance bucket? Look, someone mentioned that there would be a bucket. And I, I think I need this bucket. I don't need an infinite hole. Free new and easy achievement. I can't believe it's that simple. Free achievement. The infinite hole is that way. The free achievements up there. Collectibles are over this way. Oh, the exit. Except there's no exit. Of course there's no exit. What is this? Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life.
Okay. Okay. Can, can I go forward? I can. I'm going forward out into the cosmos. Hello? Hello? Anyone? Anyone in here? Narrator, where did you go? What the fuck is this shit? Zero six. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Collect them all. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. All right, what is this shit? Will I ever receive your achievement? Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be... Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. Well, shit. I didn't get my free achievement. Lies. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Whatever the hell is over here. Oh no. Oh no, the infinite hole. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never oh. been done before in a video game. Oh. This is in fact a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite this, falling. This has you been fall done. until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Portal. Portal had infinite falling. Do I really want to do this? You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. It's not infinite, is it? Okay, Stanley, I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Uh -huh. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the in great now. Oh, I'm very excited yeah, to share more and more of my ideas for the sequel. <laughs> I wanted to jump in the hole. Okay, yeah. and I guess we're back in the hole now. Yes, Did you are. really need to see it again? Yeah. I don't know what else there is to say, Stanley. It's an infinite hole. It's exactly what you're doing right now, but forever. There really are so many other fascinating exhibits that I've prepared for you. I really spent quite a lot of time on all this, and I would very much like to show you some more of them. How about we go ahead and press that teleport button again, so we can get back to what's really important about... Oh, goodness. Well, this is rather embarrassing, Stanley. I'll be honest with you. I truly did not believe that anyone would actually stay in the hole long enough to hit the bottom. Yes, I know. I told you the hole was infinite, but come on. 
Who actually wants to fall forever? The hole was plenty deep. It was more than deep enough, in my opinion. Maybe it's you who likes falling too much. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said Bruh. some things we didn't mean. No, Why I meant we just put everything. all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite. Mostly if that works for infinite. you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to mostly walk up to the top of the hole infinite. and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Oh, for heaven. You see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? It did. I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, mm -hmm. admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about. And I've had it. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. <laughs> if this starts to become a thing with. Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, it's but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. Yes, it is. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my life has come to haunt me. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh... Who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do. Hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Teleport is the, not um, teleport button not working? It's not. You sure? <clears throat> well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. Still nothing. Well, I suppose, uh, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. No. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally it's, anything else. It's not a hole anymore. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. But. God damn it, narrator. If I could only jump. <sighs> We're going to begin the game again. And here we are. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. I want the reassurance bucket. We're going straight to it. The common it. complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, <laughs> the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Yes, give me the bucket.
<laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Mm -hmm. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Okay. Let me out of the room now. Yes, there we go. Now I have the bucket. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Now, all right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? Yes. My. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yeah. Yes, I know it's not exactly clear Correct. yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title oh, screen God. that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Just a reskin. Just a reskin. This is the story of a man named. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> 